because you're worth it. I'm Dr. S I'm Dr. I can't walk at the moment. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Those battles usually start with either the stunt team or the VFX team. Yes, sir. We owe it to Sam Hargrave to create these amazing stunts for Titan. We've got a room full of movie stars. We've got three franchise carrying actors here. This is our first day. Um, here we are in Pinewood in Atlanta, and it's, it's actually pretty unbelievable. You can actually engage in this collaborative, creative conversation about what should this look like. We would show them our previous material just to let them know, like, these are the certain things that you would be working with to get to this final product. It's going to look awesome uh, when Chris does it. Um. <laughs> Every character, every hero involved has to use the highest level of their power just to, just to stay on the battlefield with him. The big two, Thanos versus Iron Man. This is the showdown. This is what it's all about. This is what the whole movie is leading up to right here. We've got a representative junior, Josh Brolin, going hand to hand right here. Stark. How do you know my name? I know your soul. It is much like mine, cursed with knowledge. My only curse is you. One of my favorite moments is when Proxima tells Scarlet Witch, He'll die alone, as will you. She's not alone. In a real, real moment of threat, there's two other women that are starting by each other. It's really great to see that the audiences are embracing really strong female superheroines. That is one of the biggest cheer moments in the film. I know you have found something. A sense of peace. Okay, now you are going too far now. We don't trade lies, Captain. <laughs> I told you to go. We need to destroy the you, Buffalo. <laughs> How long do I stand here overacting for? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh my god, he's gonna be some bad acting now. Supercalifragilistic XBLANANOS. so great is his conviction. This is the only solution. He's seen it firsthand on his planet. Titan was like most planets. And when we faced extinction, I offered a solution. Genocide. What I predicted came to pass. Congratulations, you're a prophet. I'm a survivor. Tony knows just by the way that Bruce Banner describes Thanos, it's a different game now. He said Loki, the attack on New York, that's him. He is the biggest army in the universe, and he is not going to stop. Just his sheer force is something that none of the Avengers has ever encountered before. Thanos has been inside my head for six years, so I say we take the fight to him. Heroes are only as good as their villain, but the Avengers were built for anything. It's for stopping Thanos from completing his goal. Fun really isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this does put a smile on my face. The way the Russos work, they're willing to try different things. There was a lot of input and we could we could share how we would express ourselves, what war cries we use as Wakandans. We have another one that's more aggressive. Uh, okay, what's that one? It's Maifa. It yeah. means win them. Yeah. Sayifa means separate them. And they just go, ah. Ooh. You get the actors involved and of course they know their characters better than anybody. They have great uh, input. When you say it, it's the greatest Wakanda forever you've ever said, because this could be it. You know, it became like sort of the cadence of the whole set. People walking around saying, Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever! So when Thanos shows up, we really wanted to make this the most powerful moment ever. Eyes up. Stay sharp. 
the movie sort of keeps twisting at the end there in ways that you can't believe that it's going one step beyond and that the, the fate of our characters and the fate of the universe are still at play. In terms of our choices about who uh, Thanos would end up eradicating with his snap, you know, it's very story focused. How do we pay off each individual character's storyline most, most profoundly? Steve? The first person to go is Bucky Barnes, and it's shot from Captain America's perspective. You know, we're watching Cap go through the experience of watching him go away. We're watching Okoye, whose number one mission it is in life is to protect the king. She watches the king go in front of her. And to see those characters react in those situations is very powerful and, and resonant. Groot. No. Oh, God. This is it. It's all been leading to this. Bringing Avengers Infinity War to audiences is an incredible road Joe and I have traveled with Marvel. We're going to be doing these big wide shots, and we're going to expand your tribe by like hundreds. It's been a marathon. It's actually been a double marathon because we shot both Avengers 3 and 4 back to back in a one year time frame. So it's about as Herculean a task, I think, as there is in filmmaking. The last thing that you guys were playing was really good. It's a distress signal rocket. Someone could be dying. But it has been, I think, the most fulfilling creative endeavor we've ever experienced. We walked forward 10 feet straight on this yeah, line. Yeah, straight to camera. Action! Bring me Thanos! There's been 18 films building up to this, and we wanted the audience to go on a journey and have an emotional catharsis in a response to the situations that these characters get put in and ultimately the choices that they make, which are heartbreaking. I told you to go right. Joe and I, we've counted ourselves as fans long, long before we ever became filmmakers in the MCU. These movies would be nothing without the passion that the fans bring to them. We feel a really special kinship with the fandom, and it drives us to ever greater heights in storytelling. Josh Brolin is bringing a new iconic villain to life. Thanos is a very complex character. What he's doing from his point of view is a very positive thing. He's basically an eco-terrorist and he wants to eliminate 50% of the universe to save the other 50%. We wanted to tell a story about a character with a really complex and empathetic interior life. And there's not a lot of actors that can give you both of those things. Josh Brolin brings a reality to the character. He is wearing that mocap suit. He's wearing the motion capture cameras. The performance is coming through, not only in his gestures and his face, but in his eyes. There's about 2,900 visual effects shots in the movie. We wanted to make it as photographic as possible. And I think that that's the most important part. It's been a decade of signs and wonders. 10 years. It's pretty extraordinary. It is just the most remarkable achievement. It's a very conscious act to go and make a motion picture, let alone think about launching and sustaining a, a cinematic universe. I mean, nobody even heard of that five, six years ago. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, using your made-up names. Pretty awesome to see this yeah. collective, isn't it? I mean, just a bit part of it. It's you amazing. couldn't fit any more people on that poster, mm -hmm. and everyone deserves to be there. You know, and everyone has fought for their place in the MCU. It's such an amazingly humble group of people, and everyone's easy to work with that are team players. Surprise! This will be such fun. I love all these actors. They've made it so fun. It's it's like a big family. Yeah, good. Evans was a bit off, but I don't think most. <laughs> really, we're all having fun, and we're really allowed to be the best versions of whatever these giant movies are. You're given a set of circumstances and a script and you go try to put your secret sauce on that and make it fun and entertaining. And I think what's extraordinary is how that baton has been passed in such a magnanimous way from all these franchises. I am Groot! I am Steve Rogers. Now bring them all together. It's just so epic. Are you yawning? To have 
created these different worlds and made them so sort of full and rich and then bring them all together for these last two movies. It's so great. It's really been 10 years in the making. It is a very, very unique film. I'm glad it's worked out this way because we have been working our asses off for a while. To have come this far, 19 movies, 10 years, and still be going, and still have people wanting it, and still be doing something that's new and profound and culturally significant, that's a dream come true. Everybody stay where you are. I'm gonna ask one time. Who are you? We're the Avengers, man. Thanos. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he'll wipe out half the universe. Everything you know, everything you love, it will all be gone. Just like that. Well, he's never fought me. Yeah, he has. He's never fought me twice. <laughs> and I'm getting a new hammer. There better be some hammer. He's coming to us. I say we take the fight to him. <laughs> you guys are screwed now! Oh, by the way, this is a friend of mine, Tree. I am Groot! I am Steve Rogers. Bingo! All right. Together, we can stop battles. Where's your gun? Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizards. I'm sorry.